Having your gravity forms display in a modal or pop-up box is really cool, and this video is going to show you how to do just that. There are a lot of plugins that can help you do this, but here's the one that I recommend, and it's called Pop-Up Maker, and here's what the WordPress plugin page looks like. But let's just jump right into it. So what you want to do is, I'm actually going to close this. You want to go to Plugins and click on Add New, and click Pop-Up Maker, and click on Install Now. And then Activate Plugin. So once activated, it's going to give you a new menu entry on the left that says Pop-Up Maker. Now, before you just jump right in and make a new pop-up, which I do that all the time, in this case, what you want to do is you want to click on All Themes, because you want to make a theme before you make a pop-up. A theme is just how the pop-up is styled. So click on All Themes, and we're going to add one. I'm going to click Add New. And here at the top, I'm going to type Sample Theme. Now what's really cool about this is it's actually giving you a sample of what it will look like over here on the right hand side. See this? The first section is overlay settings. It says theme the overlay behind the pop-up. Now usually what I like to do is do something like a black and then decrease the opacity. And if you keep your eye over here, watch when I slide this down. You know you can see different amounts of the website behind it. So I'm going to go around 50%. That looks pretty good. And there are actually a lot of settings on this page. I'm just going to go through them rather quickly. And, you know, if you keep an eye on this, you can actually see it change. So watch when I change the padding. See how it adds more padding here? And, of course, um, you know, a lot of this does not need uh, me to talk to you about. But let's just add a little bit of border radius. So as you can tell, it's now rounded. And there are a lot of sections, you know, drop shadow and title and content settings. Now, I'm not going to go through all of them, but you just want to make sure that you customize it to look good with whatever your site looks like. Okay, and let's say that we're done with this. So you want to make sure that you publish your theme. All right, now with your theme published, now we can go under Pop-Up Maker, click on Add New. And I'm going to give it a name of Sample Pop-Up. And it says enter pop-up title here. This is a title that appears at the top of the pop-up. Now, you don't have to do this, you can skip it, but I'm just going to type something, say this is my pop-up. And here in the content area, you can add anything you want. Now, this tutorial is all about gravity forms, so how do you add a gravity form to a page? Simply click on add form, and I'm just gonna pick one. I'm just gonna pick, let's say, our simple form here. I'm going to uncheck form title and form description. So the content is done. Now, of course, you could add some intro text or an image, but we're not going to talk about that here. Let's scroll down. And here we have display settings. Now, this is the size. You know what? I'd probably recommend they do actually a really good job of giving you good default settings. So I would leave medium 60%. Scrolling down, we have a fade animation. There's a few that you can choose. I'd probably leave it on fade. Location, top, center. This is how far off the top of the screen you want it. It's currently set to 100. That's great. I'd probably leave that. I'd leave Z index alone. If you want to change the word close to, let's say, uh, close pop up, that's where you do it. We'll talk about this in just a second here. And let's scroll back up here. And the reason why I wanted to have you add your theme first is because here, you can actually choose any themes that you might have. Now, I only made one called Sample Theme, so that's why it's there. And let's talk about here. This is called Targeting Condition. So this is basically asking you, where do you want this pop-up to display? So let's say that we only wanted it on the homepage. Let's choose On Homepage. Now, with On Homepage selected, now we actually need to go back down to where we were. And here it says Enable Auto Open pop-ups is going to automatically make the pop-up happen. So check this box and you can decide the delay and triggers in sessions. And like I said, a lot of this stuff is probably just fine the way it is. Now, because I'm testing this here, I'm actually going to disable cookies so we can reload the page and it'll come back. 
So here, this is going to display in 500 milliseconds, which is a half a second. That's fine. So with all that done, I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to hit the update button. And now I'm going to go look at the home page of the website to actually see the pop-up in action. So let's watch this. And there it is. This is my pop-up, your information, and the form continues down. Now if you notice, this is kind of a long form. So it doesn't actually scroll as I'm scrolling my mouse, which is a problem if your form is long. So how to get around that is you want to scroll down here and let's find the right here, fixed positioning. Uncheck this and let's go up and hit the update button. And now let's reload on the front end. And now when we scroll, the form scrolls. So that's how you get around that. Okay. So let's say that you not only wanted this to display on the home page automatically, let's say that you actually wanted to put a button here that when someone clicks on, pops up and displays that pop-up. Well, that's really easy to do. We're actually, let's go back to the all pop-up screen. And here you have a column that says CSS classes. Now there's two, but let's just select the first one and right click and copy it. And now let's go edit the home page. So I'm going to go to pages and I'm going to click on home. And let's add a button after, oh, after right about here, that when someone clicks on will make that pop up. So I'm just going to hit enter. And I believe I have a button here in my media library. Yeah, right here. Get more information. I'm just going to leave all these settings alone, click insert into page. And now what you want to do is you want to click on your image one time, click on the edit link, and here in image CSS class, that's where you want to paste that CSS class that we just copied. So that's all I did was just paste it in there. You don't have to put a link or anything like that, just image CSS class, paste it in there and click on update. And now click the update button. So with that saved, let's go back to the home page. Now the, the automatic pop-up is going to pop up. So let's watch that. That's going to happen first. There it is. And then let's close it. And now let's say that you're a visitor to this website and you go, oh, you know what? I actually wanted to fill out that form. Well, here you can just click on this and the pop-up comes back and the person can fill it out. So that's how you get a gravity forms to display automatically, like the way I just showed you, or clicking on a button, having it pop up. If you've been struggling with Gravity Forms, the Learn Gravity Forms course is filled with over 25 easy to learn lessons. Within the next two hours, you can be a master of Gravity Forms. Simply visit learngforms.com.